Hey guys, this is AC Service Tech, and today what we're looking at is can you actually check a refrigerant charge on an air conditioner without hooking up gauges to it? So we're going to do this first with just the temperature probes, and then afterwards we're going to actually check it with our test gauges. So right here you have 89.4 degrees. Now if you can see that, we have 83 degrees on the liquid line. So you have 89 degrees minus 83 degrees, and that means that you have six degrees of subcooling. So the saturated temperature is found in the middle of the saturated state in the outdoor condensing coil. We actually usually check it on the gauge port and we convert it to saturated temperature. What I just did is I put the probe in into the coil, but you gotta know where to put the temp probe into the coil at. So right here is the discharge off the compressor. You have high pressure, high temperature discharge gas coming this way. Then it continues to come up and then it comes into the condenser coil right here. It also continues to rise and come into the condenser coil here as a high pressure, high temperature discharge gas. It also comes up and then it comes into the condenser coil up there. So you see this other pipe behind it? it this, is, this pipe is not connected to the discharge line. This tube right here is actually going to the outdoor service valve. This tube right here is going to the outdoor service valve. So what happens is between this discharge gas and this liquid line right here, you have the saturated state right in here, okay? Same thing down here. So the high pressure, high temperature discharge gas comes into the coil here, and then it goes through the condenser coil, turns into the saturated state, and then into a liquid state, and then exits right here going to the service valve. So what you can do is you just look right down through the grill on the top of the outdoor unit. You see where the discharge pipe is. You see where the liquid line is. And then you can just put your temp sensor on one of the liquid lines on the outside of the unit uh, right in the middle right there. So you know that the saturated state exists right here, right between these two tubes. So you see this metal right here? You just look right outside and you just take a measurement right down. So we can see that's about four inches or so. So we're going to go outside and we're going to put our temp probe into the condenser fins about four inches lower than where this metal starts at. So there's always some type of uh, sign where you can kind of figure where that saturated state is. So you see on this coil, there's actually three sets of saturated states on this one. So right here you have 89.4 degrees. We moved our temp sensor down and we connected our gauge to the liquid line because we're checking subcooling. And if you can make that out, it says 90 degrees saturated temperature in the middle of the condenser coil, and we read 84 degrees on the liquid line. So that reads six degrees of subcooling. So that means we need to add refrigerant to the system. It's calling for nine degrees. We have six degrees. So that means we're low on refrigerant. But what I really want to show you is that you actually can check the subcooling of a system of a single speed outdoor condensing unit or heat pump in cooling mode with just temp sensors. That is in subcooling at least. In superheat, you'd actually have to take the evaporator coil cover off, find the middle of the saturated state in the evaporator coil, put a temp sensor on, then put a cover over the evaporator coil, and then check your temperature on your vapor line. So it is possible to do it. Maybe you're at a friend's house or maybe Maybe you're doing preventative maintenances or something like that, and you don't even want to connect in with the gauge set. You actually can check with just temp sensors. Or maybe you're like me, and you carry your multimeter around in your vehicle wherever you go, and uh, you're at a friend's house, and all of a sudden the air conditioner doesn't work. So you can actually check the subcooling refrigerant charge with just a temp sensor. You should also know that when you put your temp sensor in the side of the condenser fins, that you need to have it over towards the side where there's not as much airflow blowing across it right next to the cover plate and you have to find the middle of the saturated state so you know i put links to the tools used in this video in the description below hope you enjoyed yourself we'll see you next time at ac service tech channel